Greetings and salutations, you guys. Gator here. Welcome to a new video. How is everyone doing today? If you guys are all doing fantastic, happy Halloween. We're starting off today's video decorating the dining room. So, I think we ended the last vlog and I did the happy Halloween spiderweb balloon thing in the back right there. And this video starts off the day before our Halloween party. And I am hanging up these super fun Harry Potter light things that I got from Amazon last year. And I'm hanging them here on the chandelier and I'm hanging them in the other chandelier as well in the living room. You'll see that later on. But these things are so great. I just use like a clear fishing wire that it comes with to hang them. And yeah, they just hang up really easily. There's like a little magic wand that you use to turn them on and off. And they're just really, really cute. Now this is how they look lit up they're so cute i love them the especially when it's light like darker the effect of the little lights is just so so cute they really look like they're floating too so i already love them and i'm really excited to have them put up now i'm putting on those bats <laughs> because it's sped up they look like they're shaking they look kind of scary but I put like the bats on with some double-sided tape and then I just put like two pieces together so that you don't see the tape on the other side. So you're just sandwiching the fishing line with the bats and I think it looks really, really good. Look at that. They are so, so cute and I am completely obsessed with them. I didn't do this last year. The bats are new. So love them. Now I'm hanging them up here on the chandelier in the living room. I don't actually have too many lights left over, so I'm just using the remnants of what I had left. And yeah, I love it. These lights are so easy to put up. I would keep them up all year round if I could, but I know that they would be annoying after a while, I'm sure. But we had so much fun with these. During the party, everyone wanted a chance to turn the lights on and off with the wand, and they were definitely really really popular so I'm super duper excited and I don't know they just look so so cute and I highly recommend them they're really great for like not just Halloween but if you're having like a party or something and just want to do something whimsical and fun and especially if you wanted to do like a Harry Potter party oh gosh Harry Potter uh obsessed I wish I had these lights before when we threw a Harry Potter themed birthday party for Kate and Elizo because these would have been amazing to have in the house and yeah but i'm happy to have them now oh quick also if you buy these and when you put them away to store them remember to take the batteries out because they will die i left the batteries in from last year and none of them worked and i thought that they all broke but i just changed out the batteries so just take out the batteries and you can store them with them and yeah Okay. Oh, it looks so good. I'm obsessed. All right, it's a little while later. The, I think these decorations here are pretty much done. We got the bats, Halloween, those over there. I was watching Mom's Eggplant. <laughs> Looks delicious. We have all the stuff cooking. Yes. Now here I am working on kind of the centerpiece for the table. I just wanted it to be simple. And so I brought over my giant Jonathan Adler hand. And it's like this beautiful acrylic hand in blue. And I just thought it was really, really cool. And kind of went with the theme, you know, like halloween -y. It's like a hand. It's like clear it's like a it's cool we know and then i just filled it up with candy and that's gonna be our centerpiece okay it is hours later and i am gonna see if i can do the spider web stuff in like where the stairs are so i got this stuff it's called beef netting i got it from the goodwill for 6.99 so I wanted to see, oh my god, I just see a mosquito. I feel like I just saw a mosquito. Um, I wanted to see if I could do this over there. Because you have to like cut it. I've never done anything like this before, but it's supposed to be really easy and look the most realistic. So I guess I'm going to like cut like holes and stuff in here. 
I don't know if this is like a daytime thing that I should do, but we're gonna try to do it right now so that way I can get it done. Here I am trying to pre-cut the beef netting so that way it would already be done and I wouldn't have to cut it as much when I put it up. And it worked out for the most part. The only thing is that I should have cut the beef netting in half first. I didn't cut it in half because I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't really open it all the way. So I didn't know that you needed to cut it in half because it was literally like kind of like a round thing, if that makes sense. So you got to cut it in half so that way it's longer. I ended up having to like cut it in half like on the spot, which just makes it more difficult because I was not using the right scissors and also because the it would have been easier just doing it like flat and not like when it was already hanging. But that is good for next time. Also, if you do have one of those rotary cutters, I feel like that would be a lot easier to use to make the like slits in it before you hang it up. Like if you just did the cuts using a rotary cutter before you hung it up, I think that would be a lot easier. But there's also something with just doing it manually after you already hang it and just doing it one by one. It just makes it look more authentic. And yeah, so actually I kind of, yeah. So I recommend doing a lot of like the pre-cutting beforehand. And then afterwards you go in and you do these little cuts throughout to just make it look a little less uniform, a little bit more organic and real. And the more I cut into it, the better it looked. So you kind of have to just keep going at it and it's gonna look really, really fantastic. And I think I was cutting it for like an hour. This is how it looks at the end. I thought it looked pretty spooky really good and then I just needed to blow up some of the spiders and put them on and that is probably what I'm gonna do in the morning. I actually did put it on after I filmed this but I forgot to film it again so you'll see it in the upcoming clips. Hey guys it is it's party day and we are in the kitchen I'm skewering these beef kebabs and mom just made us this delicious chicken skin to give us energy. And right now, mom is making chicken tikka masala in the green pot. And then this other pot's going to be what, mom? Beef stew. Beef stew. So that is the update for right now. But the house is still a mess. And I got to finish doing this. Eliza gets out of school at 11. So I have like 45 minutes, but the I got with this chicken too. Oh, no. <laughs> oh beef! I was like, what? Okay, gotta skewer the beef. All right, quick update: the beef is skewered, and also the chicken tikka masala fully finished, and then there's the beef. But now I gotta go pick up Elizo from school because he has a half day. Then we're gonna go to the grocery store. All right, it is a little while later. Try this. Oh, there's the pasta. It looks delicious. Alfredo, we're about to do the cake. We got the frosting. Right here, we're making a Boston cream pie. So I am very excited for this cake. It's gonna be so good. Here's Elizo. Elizo! What happened to, what's his name? Patrick? Sam? What's his name? You're a little alien. Oh. You got hot? Here's the living room. We put out some fun pillows. What's your chicken's name again? Henry? Tom. Oh, Thomas? No, Tom. Tom? The chicken? Tom the chicken, okay. Well, check it out. We have so much good food. This is the chicken tikka masala inside there. And here we have the, ooh, the beef stew. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Ooh, you guys gotta check out what's in here. Oh, that is gonna be so yummy. So good, okay, now, we try the pasta and then we're gonna make a cake. Time to do the cake. Mom said I can do it. Yes, you can. 
I'm tired already. <laughs> She's tired. I'm in charge of this. I'm just going for it. Whoa! You need the rubber thing to scrape it. This is doing a pretty good job. Yeah, I know, because you're going to eat the rest of those chocolate. I'm going to eat the rest of this chocolate. <laughs> Inside the container. Mom said I can eat it. Just... Ugh, it doesn't spin. <laughs> it doesn't spin. <laughs> Hold on. Let me put it on something that spins. <sighs> What is underneath there? There's like cookies. <laughs> Those children. <sighs> Eliza, you made a mess on the table. Dapat pa sa tinatin talaga yung cake. So profesh. Oh my gosh, really? Oh, look at that! It's beautiful. Should I just put the chocolate on the top? Because I don't think there's enough to put it all around. Yeah, it's on the top. Oh. It's really on the top and it has to drip. On the side. There's no dripping, but it's too hard. You made it too you waited too too long for it to cool down. It still has a chance. Oh, there's a little chunk of chocolate right here, though. All done! Beautiful! Wow. She's beauty, she's grace, she's Miss United States. All right, cake is done. Cheese. Okay, so I thought I would give you guys a tour of the Halloween decor. We're gonna start around here at the front of the house and then we'll go inside and I'll show you guys how the inside looks. I think I showed you guys the back or the outside before. But I really just let the kids go crazy here in this section. So we just have pumpkins and some spiders and skeletons nothing too crazy or intense just like some fun little knickknacks here and there I really just let the boys do whatever they wanted and put everything where they wanted them to be oh I need to turn that on that's a little light up pumpkin but go inside and here, if you turn to the side, you have spider webs with the spiders. They're pretty spooky. This was really hard to, well, not super hard, but it was a little difficult. The learning curve, we're putting it up, but we got that. Then you go down here, nothing too intense in the library. Then over here is where it's more fun. We have the Happy Halloween. We have the floating candles with the bats. 
really like this side. Oh, also the hand full of candy. And then this is a little thing that turns on the lights. Then over here we have the desserts. We also have a chili right here. Ooh, that chili looks so, so good. This is the pasta. Yum. Then over here, we got the living room. We got some more lights with the bats. Then we have all sorts of food here. We have the barbecue on a stick that I skewered earlier. We got barbecue chicken. Over here, we got the chicken tikka masala. There's Eliza getting some grapes. The beef. This is the fried rice. These are the meatballs. Ooh, so good. That's the cake that I just did. That's cornbread. Eliza made that gingerbread house. Grapes. Oh, the little pumpkin bread. These are so yummy. Some Ferrero Rocher. Brownies. Then over here, we just got some fun pillows. These are the John Deerian pillows. The, the mushrooms. And then that's I got from, I think I got them from TJ Maxx. Then we got acorns. These two, these are John Deerian. Another one, little hand. And then there's that. And all our plants. It's like a jungle in here. We need to clean up those plants a little bit, but we are propagating a bunch of plants for people. And that is that. Oh, and then let's go outside really quick. We'll go to the backyard. Ooh, we just washed all the cushions and everything, so the cushions are so fresh and clean, so I'm very excited about that. We got some fresh flowers. I got a little pumpkin right there. So that's how this little area looks. Ooh, I washed those. I need to put them back. I let them dry. But here it is back here. So pretty. I also power washed everything. So hopefully everything's still clean because I did that yesterday. But it gets so windy here. Here's the back. Got the space heaters in case it gets cold. We can turn them up but it's pretty warm right now I think it was almost 90 today then I took off the top on the table right here this kind of got dirty again already but all the plants are doing pretty well and then this is where we took down the, all the planter boxes so we're gonna we're gonna actually plant some new trees I think we're gonna put like an avocado and one of the calamansi in the ground and then of course, all these other trees are staying, and we just need to organize the plants, but we had to move a lot of stuff around for when this was happening. And that is our little tour of the house for the party. Um, and I'll film a little bit once the party starts, so I'll see you guys again in a little bit.